Hey guys, Eddie here from Delene Property. Today, I want to. We're in the car, and today I want to. I'm doing this video because I get the question uh, asked me. I, the question gets asked all the time. Why, Eddie? Why did you get started in property? You know, what was the inspiration behind buying all these investment properties? You know, buying 16 properties by the time you're 27, and building a property portfolio, investing in property. Why did you? you know do it so young why, what was your inspiration why did you get started and all that other kind of stuff and I've, I've answered this question a million times and today I thought I'd do this video to show you where I grew up and um, you know I, I, if anyone knows the story I grew up in a very very poor family I grew up in Western Sydney in Mount Druitt that's where we are right now that's where we're traveling to you probably see the uh, properties behind and can see like the the type of area it is so a lot of people have invested in you know Mount Druitt and you know bought properties in Western Sydney and all that other kind of stuff and most people that I speak to you know they have parents and all that kind of stuff that have owned property they you know the parents said oh buy property it's a good idea and that kind of stuff for me it was not like that at all no no one in my family owned property you probably look at the houses behind they don't look too too fancy it's a pretty um, it's a pretty rough area where I grew up in Mount Druitt the actual suburb that we're going to be checking out today is Wilmot um, that's probably one of the roughest suburbs in Sydney it's about 45 to 50 minutes maybe an hour away from the Sydney CBD it's Wilmot's in Mount Druitt and it's pretty much known for being one of the roughest uh, suburbs in terms of crime um, drugs, uh, domestic violence, and all that kind of stuff. It is pr probably like you know the worst of the worst. Um, no offense to anyone that you know that grew up in, in Walmart or Mount Druitt like I did, but it's it's a very very rough area, and it's very it, you know high levels of housing commission and all that other kind of stuff. Um, don't get me wrong, there's lots of nice people that live there, and you know Mum still lives in, in the area, but um, I thought I'd show you you know why. I basically started investing in property. For me, growing up, you know, living in these kind of areas, I'm gonna show you a couple of houses um, in a second. Growing up in these kind of areas, there was a lot of violence, a lot of you know, domestic crime and all that kind of stuff, a lot of break-ins. The house got broken into all the time. And it was just a very, very rough neighborhood. And you know, the reason, that's one of the reasons basically why I got started in property basically because you know, I didn't want to basically live in the area for my, for my whole life. And, you know, I grew up in this area and I thought that it basically caused a lot of friction. It caused a lot of friction in the family. And, you know, there was always worried about money. There was always, you know, fights about money and all that other kind of stuff. There was a high, it's basically high levels of poverty. You can probably see outside the window um, in this area. And I grew up with a single mother on a pension. Um, you know, she didn't work at all. Like she was on a pension. I, I was. I came late in life, um, so money was extremely tight. Um, you know, shopping would be done, and you know, it was just a struggle to put food on the table, basically. So, you, you know, that's kind of having all that pain, all that friction. You know, growing up and knowing that, you know, no one in my family owned a property at all. So that was a the massive thing that I realized that if I don't do anything, if I don't get my shit together, basically. I was, this is this is my thought process when I was 16 to 17 years old, even sometimes earlier than that. I was basically like, I'm gonna be stuck in this area, very rough area with no money, have the same problems, and that's gonna be my life if I don't if I don't change. And you know, the, it's a very rough. Like I'm gonna show you a house right now. That this is a house over there. That house has pretty much been burnt down right over there burnt down pretty much every single growing up in this neighborhood like on the street or grew up in the just a street over there if you look around very very rough neighborhood that's a burnt down house over there um you'd go outside you'd see you know you go to check the mail when i was a kid and there'd be like you know used drug needles and all that kind of stuff like that caused a lot of you know uh, friction growing up and that the, that's basically the reason why I said 
you know, back then that something's got to change and I have to, and being that young, I looked at basically what I learned from a young age is that people that have money, people that live in the nicer areas, as opposed to, you know, the houses like that, that the people that live in the nice, nice areas usually have property. And I started to figure out, you know, the people that have money basically own property. So that was one of my thought processes that if I could own property and start owning property from a young age, then I wouldn't have to grow up in, you know, areas like this where there's just massive, massive, you know, domestics, massive levels of poverty where it is pretty scary. For, you know, most people they've, I used to have, you know, people come out here and visit me where I used to live and all that kind of stuff. They're like, man, how can you live out here? Like, this is a very, very rough neighborhood. It's very dangerous to be in this area, especially to raise a family and that kind of thing. Whereas, yeah, it's that was my driving factor, basically. Like, I didn't want to have to grow up and struggle for money. I didn't want to have to, you know, some bike is just going by. Didn't want to have to, you know, grow up and have that pain have that i didn't want my kids to have to live in the same area and there's nothing you know i'm not not bad trying to bag out the area or anything like that you know everyone's got their own place and you know right place that's going to be right for them but you know it's that's one of the reasons and you know a lot of people grew up around the area in bad in really bad areas like this and they think you know they, no, they think nothing of it because they're just used to it but you know, over time, I started to realize that you know I want better for my my family, my kids, and my my future. Uh, my when I have kids and all that kind of stuff, and I don't want to have to be worried about money and struggle and like live in a high level of poverty. So, yeah, that was that was my reason. And over the years, I started just learning more. I hated reading when I was younger, but I forced myself to read. Some of the books that I started off with was Rich Dad Poor Dad. I read a lot of uh, property investing books, like one of Steve McKnight's uh, book, you know, millions of uh, property investing books and all that kind of stuff, research I did. So, you know, and over time I just, you know, had that big goal of owning lots of property to build a passive income. And that's what I've been able to do, thankfully, over the years. And that's why, you know, a lot of the, you know, I, I get featured on TV, Channel 9, Channel 7, Sky News. I was just on... Um, live TV like four days ago on on your money live TV just explaining my story of how I you know grew up in housing commission and pretty much came from the poorest family um, you know and that's a big objection that's a big thing that a lot of people you know they, they see me on the news they see me in the media and they just say oh his parents must have been rich they because that's when I was growing up I was like oh well it's easy for someone else if their parents lent the money and all that other kind of stuff but no one, you know, I had to pretty much do everything myself and figure out everything um, myself. So it can definitely be done. And I hope this video, I hope, you know, even checking out just where I pretty much grew up is, can, you know, show people out there that you can, it doesn't matter where you come from, it doesn't matter where you grew up, it doesn't matter how poor you grew up, it doesn't matter whatever it is, you know, you can you can you know invest in property and you can get in, in a better position so it's been almost 10 years for me I, I guess I'm 27 now and I started buying my first property when I was 18 um, but I started thinking about property and thinking about getting serious about buying property when I was 16 so yeah I hope this video helps and I will catch you in the next video if you have any questions at all just send them through and I look forward to chatting to you guys soon bye